our final destination the 12th house the house of pisces the house of the fish the ruler is neptune and the element is water so we have two people in our group both jean and aaron okay. so we have aaron <laughs> do over aries here and again if we're confused we've got it down here in this side oh. so it's just entering in right and this 12th house you know the house of pisces i mean aaron just kind of knowing a little bit about you and where you're at right now in your work i would think that this would be a great year for creativity and going deep into how you are making meaning in the world and how you're making sense of things and that's really what this placement is about it's going to expand the intuitive empathetic part of a person's nature and there might be some you know i also think as an artist right you're going through process as you're creating work so there could be some healing or some transformation that's happening for you personally but it also is a very deep right because pisces is like the deep waters so it's a very deep connection with humanity and wanting to find solutions right solutions or healing or prayer or energy so there's a opportunity here to go much deeper into the spiritual realm of life and that could be through your artistry it could be through your personal practices that you're doing um, but it's definitely a deep expansion into what already is a very expansive connection with the divine right with source i would also say that you should be mindful anyone with this placement in the 12th house to just be mindful of any sort of mind altering situations or substances and to just be very aware of when we are engaging in that that there's a lot of intention there or if we're engaging a little bit casually that's a part of our path to have a heightened sense of how often we're doing that because the Pisces energy, it really gravitates towards altered states because it gravitates towards that connection with the divine and that connection with God, source, spirit. And so if we're not really finding that in our spiritual life or maybe even in our artistic life, then we might pull in, right, those other things to help us feel connected. But this house and, and with the Pisces, it can be a bit... Uh, can kind of pull you under right and sort of pull you off and another thing about that is that if you are doing something like even in a very conscious way right where we're gonna do some maybe psychedelic plant medicine or some sort of experience or even just a a, a meditation right or a, a non-substance type of ceremony even with cacao something like that right that's more gentle because of this placement and the expansion of Jupiter into it, it could be more powerful than what you've bargained for. Anytime that I've done like a specific meditation, whether it involved mind altering or not, uh, on a Pisces, even just under the Pisces sun, has been very intense, or like a Pisces full moon, a Pisces new moon, very, very intense energy. So just to be mindful that jupiter is going to intensify something that is already very intense in that in that realm but great for creativity great for connecting with other beings great for connecting with humanity let's see let's see what our pal has to say jupiter in the 12th house this is one 12th house transit that is likely to be quite beneficial although the benefits won't be as obvious as they are in other houses at this time, you have the capacity to learn a great deal about the spiritual and religious dimensions of life. You also can learn a great deal about yourself without encountering the fear or resistance that you often experience when you come face to face with the aspects of yourself that you consider less desirable. This is a time when the demands of your ego are less exacting than usual. You can look dispassionately and even compassionately at yourself, the world, and other people. 
You feel more direct empathy for the suffering you see, and you genuinely want to help. You seem to have a new understanding of the fact that we are all in the same boat and that what is done to help one person is done for all. During this time, you may find a person who acts as a spiritual teacher for you, but remember that such a person can come in any guise. He or she need not be someone who is publicly recognized as a teacher. Even an old friend <clears throat> may suddenly assume this role. You may feel that something in you needs to be healed now, and this person will come forward to help you. It is also possible that you will play this role for someone else. You are very concerned about spiritual truth and wisdom now, and you may pass on what you learn during this transit to others. In a general way, this transit may incline you to the study of metaphysics or the occult. In the hidden aspects of existence, you seek knowledge that will give you support and comfort, as well as meaning for your life. This transit may even signify a greater involvement with Orthodox religion and the church. So we'll see if you join Orthodox religion in a year. <laughs> we'll, we'll check in. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> big, big Jupiter surprise. All right. So we're going to do, are you ladies okay?